Kan Kishkikashinina. This is the 297th program of the Indians for Indians Hour. Kishkikai speaking. Anyhow, I just returned from a fine weekend at Pawnee. I'm not a very good counter, but I'd say that there were two or three hundred there. Lots of good food, a dance in the afternoon, again at night. I put on my feathers and moccasins and limbered up a little at night. So as far as I'm personally concerned, the powwow season for 1947 is officially on. The group here today is the Carnegie War Mothers chapter and their singers, and the program director, David Upcom. And now, David, I'm going to turn it over and let you talk to these folks a while. Thank you, Dunn. Hello, my Indian friends. It is my pleasure to present to you the following program given by the War Mothers Club of Carnegie Chapter. Each of these persons had at least one son in service, and many of them two and three, all serving overseas in all branches of the service, or paying the supreme sacrifice. This chapter of Indian War Mothers has contributed large sums of money to the American Red Cross and other organizations supporting the war effort. They have proven themselves 100% Americans. And furthermore, we Indians are the only peoples who honor our war heroes in songs. So it is to you Indians who still are upholding the traditions of our forefathers, we are having this program for your listening pleasure. May God bless you. The first three songs Edgar Gula wants to dedicate to his mother, who is a gold star mother, and this includes other gold star mothers and gold star fathers. <coughs> Oh, 